All right, so now we know about strings, numbers, and booleans. Let's just recap to make sure that we understand the difference between these three things. So a string is any text that is inside of quotation marks. I can put anything in here and it will operate just fine. It doesn't, the computer doesn't care what is inside of these quotation marks. All it cares about is that there's quotation marks and it will ignore everything inside of it. If I type anything in here that doesn't have quotation marks, then it's not going to be the same. So if I, if I combine them, I'll get errors and the computer will tell me, hey, this is not what you think it is. I shouldn't start variable names. If I don't have quotation marks around it, it's gonna start looking for code. Numbers are simply digits. They are numbers. They don't require quotation marks and the computer will operate with these just like a normal number. They're not really complicated, they're just numbers. They can be, they can be positive, they can be negative, and they can be decimals. If we put quotation marks around them, they, the computer is not going to treat it like a number. If we put them in quotation marks, the computer is going to treat them like text and not numbers. And finally, Booleans are either true or false. Do you know how code and computers underneath everything ultimately run ones and zeros? Well, to a computer, true and false is one and zero. One means true and zero means false. And that's all the computer's thinking. Is it true or false? Is it on or off? Is it one or zero? So the computer is really good at determining if things are true or false. So if the, u if the user is logged in, if this is true, it'll, it's gonna do one thing. But if it's not true, it's going to do another thing. And this is a really powerful point of computer programming in creating applications. Web applications, mobile applications, we can decide what this user is going to experience depending on what they've done before or if they have certain types of information associated with them. And that's it. Strings, numbers, and booleans.